What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And from C-SPAN, Special Counsel Jack Smith delivers statement on indictment of President Trump. And I really didn't want to pay this any attention, but it's absolute insanity. These people have nothing left to lose. They are trying to go full scorched earth, which really shouldn't surprise me. From the day Donald Trump was inaugurate not even the day he was inaugurated the day he came down those golden escalators at trump tower they have been trying their hardest to get rid of this guy we talked about russia for three years they dropped that like a hot potato and said it was ukraine then some sort of classified documents then um a sexual assault allegation from 30 years ago obviously the billy bush tape um the list goes on. I feel like I'm certainly forgetting a couple of things they tried to throw at him. Uh, whatever Alvin Bragg was doing in New York. I mean, it's all absolutely ridiculous, but maybe in a good way, they realize that their little their little scam to install their next puppet might not work because people are finally waking up to this. And, you know, all those BLM rioters that diligently put a, a mail-in ballot in the mailbox might not show up this time, right? All those six feet under voters might not show up this time. But unfortunately, once you get away with that once, that's the big ask. That's it, right? Anything else is small potatoes. Once you can install an empty suit who clearly nobody likes except for a handful of people in the media, and they realistically don't like him either, but they're on the payroll. Different story. It's a completely disgusting, incestuous family, the political and media establishment, but that, of course, is a different story. And let's see what this guy has to say about the indictment of President Trump, because the projection is absolutely astonishing. And for the record, I don't want to make this a personal thing, but this guy looks like Adam 22's dad, and he looks like he's been through a lot, bro. It looks like somebody is putting him up to this, and we're all the victims of this awful regime that just won't stop. Good afternoon. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with felony violations of our national security laws. Okay. So... Before we get any further, the obvious thing here, you have the entire Biden crime family, you have Hillary Clinton, you have Mayor London Breed, who is completely corrupt and literally paid more than $20,000 in fines because of the corruption that she admitted to. You have Eric Adams, you have de Blasio, and those are just the big names. Who knows what else is happening with this political regime, but he wants to pretend like this is all on the level, this is so diligent. And, you know, this was unsealed today. It's like, dude, you guys have cried wolf so many times. Who do you expect to believe you at this particular point in time? Only a handful of brainwashed idiot sheep who just can't, you know, wouldn't be able to punch their way out of a wet paper bag. I mean, absolute morons. As well as participating in a conspiracy to obstruct justice. This indictment was voted by a grand jury of citizens. A conspiracy to obstruct justice. And when we have Joe Biden in 4K saying we're not going to give you a billion dollars unless you fire the prosecutor. And then you can talk about that five million dollar bribe that was all part of that scam, which just happened to be on the same day that 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 news broke, I should say, on the same day that this indictment came out. And again, I really I, I hate this story so much. It triggers me through the roof, but I'm doing it anyways. In the Southern District of Florida, and I invite everyone to read it in full to understand the scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. The men and women... The scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. Okay. So after half a dozen other bogus witch hunt attempts, as the president might say, the former president might say, th this is the one now, right? This is quite literally like Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner. They just keep going after him. None of it's going to stick. They're going to keep throwing spaghetti at the wall, making a complete mess, destroying the country, all because of what? What is it? Because you're going to lose your job? Or you have you guys done something much worse that maybe Trump might put a stop to? Maybe, right? Because we all know these people are Teflon. Nothing's going to happen to any of them. So I don't know why they're so scared, right? Just let go of it. Just like you guys got to let go of this weirdo imaginary, like boys or girls, girls or boys, all that nonsense. The ship sailed. It's gone. We're not doing it anymore. And you guys could just save face by saying, hey, what? you know what? 
we're going to go back to the dungeon. We're going to come up with a plan, maybe move a tiny back towards the center, a tiny bit back towards reality so we don't have to call anybody who doesn't jump at every single thing we say a conspiracy theorist or uh, a misogynist or a racist or a homophobe or all that. We could just move a little bit back towards the middle and realize that we are in the tiny minority of people who believe this. And I, I believe that they don't even believe it. They're just forcing you to swallow it because that's the control mechanism, right? If you... Of course, we'll believe that a man can become a woman. Obviously, the rest of it's easy. The air outside your front door is deadly. The sun monster is going to kill you. Your little boy is a little girl, and he's going to harm himself if you don't let him cut his junk off. The list goes on. Women of the United States intelligence community and our armed forces dedicate their lives to protecting our nation and its people. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States and they must be enforced. Oh, yeah, yeah. The safety of the United States. Meanwhile, cities across the country are being overrun with junkies and thieves. But we don't care about that. We just want to make sure that the papers in Donald Trump's resort are going to be enough to put him in jail. This is absolutely mind-boggling. Violations of those laws put our country at risk. Adherence to the rule of law is a bedrock principle of the Department of Justice. And our nation's commitment to the rule of law sets an example for the world. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. This guy is an absolute snake. We all know that's not true because quite obviously the president can do things that regular people can't do. So that same set of laws technically doesn't apply to everybody. And with that said, there's a number of people who I can think of that constantly flout the law and nobody throws the book at them. Hunter Pelosi, right? Remember Paul Pelosi with his hammer fight, his DUI, Nancy insider trading. No, they, they, there's no consequences for them, but you found a box in Donald Trump's or not, not Donald Trump's garage, but at his resort, you saw a very similar box in Joe Biden's garage and nobody cares. It doesn't matter. I mean, how obvious does this have to get for people to say, you know what, enough? Applying those laws, collecting facts, that's what determines the outcome of an investigation. This isn't even real. This is quite literally like the lizard people, right, that you see in memes. Like, this guy isn't even real, bro. He's just like, uh, the law, uh, law, law. Like, dude, how much, how... How obvious can you make it that this has nothing to do with the law, but everything to do with getting rid of your political opponent at the behest of whoever's behind this, right? Whether it's the Open Societies Foundation or the Council on Fair and Foreign Affairs or the WEF or whoever's behind this, it's so painfully obvious. And unfortunately for this guy and the rest of the establishment, we're just not all that dumb. So we saw you, we saw what you guys did in 2020 and then Time Magazine had the nerve to come out and say, yeah, we did it. Uh, a group of elites, an elite cabal fortified the election because we didn't trust the stupid voters to vote who we forced on them. It's ridiculous. Nothing more and nothing less. The prosecutors in my office are among the most talented and experienced in the Department of Justice. They have investigated this case hewing to the highest ethical standards and they will continue to do so. Is this case the highest ethical standard? Oh, God. It's, it's really is opposite day with these people every single time. Every single thing they say is the exact opposite of what they're doing. And as soon as somebody calls them out on it, they freak out. I use the example of a guy that they arrested in California for, you know, defrauding these PPP loans or whatever. And it's like the entire federal government and a bunch of states scammed everybody, destroyed businesses, destroyed the learning curve for kids, destroyed everything, took paychecks away and said, you're going to die if you don't do what we say. And then somebody said, okay, I need a new loan because you destroyed my business as they were giving out new loans. And then they put him in jail. It's like, they cannot take the slightest bit of return. An another example of the meme of the girl throwing mud across the fence. And then as soon as the mud comes back, she cries, you know, homophobia or, or misogyny or whatever it is. I'm getting off the point. Let's, I mean, this is so 
hard to watch. It's actually painful that these people think we're this stupid, that this B-grade Adam-22 can come up here and, and pretend that this is all about the rule of law. Oh, complete snakes, rats, weasels. Case proceeds. It's very important for me to note that the defendants in this case must be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. To that end, my office will seek a speedy trial in this matter, consistent with the public interest and the rights of the accused. We very much look forward to presenting our case to a jury of citizens in the Southern District of Florida. In conclusion, I would like to thank the dedicated public servants of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, oh, so with whom my office is conducting this investigation and who work tirelessly every day upholding the rule of law in our country. I'm deeply proud to stand. They're actually not, right? This guy wants to pretend that the FBI is so upstanding. They're completely corrupt. They are the legal version of Antifa. They are the enforcement arm of this corrupt establishment. They're going to go after anybody who doesn't obey. And I, I saw an inkling of it, not from the FBI, but obviously protesting in New York and getting taken away in a paddy wagon inside 30 minutes when George Floyd protesters are allowed to camp out at that very same park for three weeks. It becomes quite obvious, and that's it on a small scale. So extrapolate that all the way up to the FBI. It's totally and completely corrupt. And then he has the nerve to say, everybody is presumed innocent until proven guilty. And you guys have been trying to prove this man guilty for six years now, and none of it's sticking because you know it's all fake, so you're trying to ruin his reputation because maybe your little voting scam isn't going to work this time. I don't know. And shoulder to shoulder with them. Thank you very much. Oh, these people are disgusting. I, I just, I can't, this is so hard to watch because clearly this guy doesn't even mean any of this. It's all it's all a show. Somebody has forced him to do this. He, it looks like they're holding a gun to him. And I'm not sitting here and saying that, that he's innocent and, he, and somebody's, you know, and, and he's doing it against his will. But it's clear that somebody is like, all right, you need it. You know, it's, it's your turn. You're up to bat this time. So go out there and try to smear this guy. We've been doing it for seven years. And we think you're the guy that's going to get it done. It's all an absolute joke. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.